Okay, well, it's the afternoon and still nothing, nothing to write home about yet. Just, just the two. That one's found the warm spot. His eye looks better. I reckon I've got away with just, just flicking the lid out. I don't think it's turned in anymore. <coughs> Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, that's looking a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. Which is good. Oh, you want some water? Let's give you some water. Not for you. <laughs> Tank wants cleaning out. Right, move it. Excuse me. Out the way. Get away. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, darling. <laughs> Drinky for you. No orange ones left. One green one, one yellow one, and three red ones. I'll have two red ones now, and then one of each layer. You wouldn't like it. Probably. You wouldn't like it. Left the bloody key in the door. Right. As you probably guessed, back on the Harris. Yeah, but you can't. Not even could. We've got another 20 minutes or so, yeah? So you'll have to wait. Is that alright? Hey, that be alright? I can't do any quicker. That is what it is. I'm not going up now, just so you can have your food, and then to come back there just to do this little bit. So it's uh, see no evil, speak no evil, <laughs> hear no evil, and smell no evil. <laughs> so Holly forced you, is it she? Yeah, 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 yeah she it. said if we don't have them now, she's going to let you know. Through. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How many have you got? Uh, yeah, really what do you want each? Uh, one, one each. One each, don't you? That's so different. So that's, so that's an empty packet of the one you just had. Yeah. That's a dime bar egg brownie, that one. That seems to always add it. Look, dime bar. Yeah. yeah. Carper's caramel egg brownie. Right. And this one here. Carper's cream egg brownie. But there's actually, that's, that's, there's that's actually green only one. There, yeah. And that's caramel eggs there. So it's different now. So obviously you can taste it. There's only one of each. So when you say one each, it's one of each. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saving you from myself, look. He, he, he. Well, you didn't want three. Huh? Two. You got a date, mate. Got a date. Right, okay. Yeah, sorry, that. Okay. Yeah, um, so that's all done over there, is it? Yeah. 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 She's called Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone? <laughs> He's expecting Alice. It's hot date tonight. It's called Tyrone. Tyrone? He's expecting mm -hmm. Alice in the fear of Tyrone. She hasn't got airy back, has she? <laughs> <laughs> Harry Plum. Yeah. 
Oh, Kira. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Take a picture. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Customer will be happy, that would he? Yeah, very happy. Because he spoke to me on your phone, wasn't it? And he seemed quite happy then, yeah. so. Okay. Um, you know, fucking one there, that fucking name there, and yourself, right? No. That's what he wants, so. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, week four tomorrow, Sycamore, Ash, and about 10 or 12. I think he's still landing to come down, so. Hey? First got... new truck. Eh? First keys new truck. I did, no. <laughs> First, he couldn't do it. He tried. He goes, that key is mullered. I can't do it. So I've got a mobile guy coming tomorrow. Oh, it's already out there, is it? Uh, no, I'll go and get the keys and I'll put them in. That's what I mean, what's important. Yeah, no, I'll put them in, um, but the keys won't be cut till tomorrow. So, and then once you, with the keys cut, then you can have it, because you'll want it. Let me have a look at it. So I can have my Land Rover back, eh? Have a button on it, or? Yeah. Well, I'll try to. The one at Bear, it was 120 quid for a Ford one. Sure. You only had one in stock, so I'd, I'd, I'd have that one. And then a, a plain one as a spare, oh. but um, I'll try and get two. Eh? So chocolatey. So Holly does tend to do stuff a bit chocolatey. Yeah. That was good. That was good so, so that, yeah, I'll be six start. hours at the gym tonight then to get that off. Yeah. You haven't got to eat all of it, you know. You he's could say hot, something later. He's got a hot day. A hot yeah, day? He needs us energy for later, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a hot day. Probably stay in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> if he was going to take up the hog, we'd all be going and watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you never saw you here tonight. <laughs> Who's your mate? <laughs> no. Would it take to see you here tonight, you ask? Could they come here? What can we do with this? <laughs> yeah. You was around. Just keep us quiet. No. Oh, right, OK. Um, yeah, I'll go get the keys and I'll bring you down the job sheet for tomorrow as well so you know where you're going. OK. Holly? Where are you? I've just been down the shed to see the guys, and instead of working, they're all sat in the tea room stuffing their face. Well, they weren't supposed to eat them straight away. I they're in there. Martin's got three on his lap. He's, he's nicked three and got through his lap and one in his face, and the rest of them are all stuffing cream egg brains in their faces. Well, in my defence... There's no defence. Give it to them at ten to five, not at quarter past four. I literally just saw them come in and went, I'm going to give it to them now. I'm paying them. them to sit there and eat well, that's, and stuff their face. Well, discipline your men and go, no. No, no, don't, I don't need to discipline my men. You need to give them their treats just before they go home. Oh, not an hour before they go home. They're going to be fit I for nothing now. They're not going to do any work now. Well, I should do. No, no, no you, that's not, that's not, I'm not... You would have sat there like that. It's very chocolatey, isn't it? I take stereo sausage. No, it's your fault. I saw you take it down there. I know, I took them down there. I admit that, but I didn't say eat them right now, sit down, have a cup of tea, eat them right now, right, right now. Did you need to? Huh? Did you need to? Do they need any encouragement to put down the tools and stuff their faces? Grown ass men. Yes, he is. Grown ass men. Do you know the definition of that? Sure. Food. Stop. Eat. Apologise later. Yeah, well, we apologise to you. They didn't apologise to me. They told me it was your fault that you made them do it. Oh. Yeah, they said that you, Martin's in there saying that you told him he had to eat it now. I got it on video. Of him saying it. All he said, I got to eat it now. Calm as a bitch. That's what I say. Yeah, all right. Another hour of, hour of work I've lost today. Anybody else feeling like it? No? Hello, sweetheart. All right, calm down. Here you go. Here you go. Look. Actually, I'll put that that side. There you go. All right. Two more lambs last night, so... Thank you. The original two that Abby pulled out day for yesterday, these two were born last night. Okay, I've got to go off and do a bit for the tree team. And then we'll come back and we'll sort these boys out. And a bell for you lot too. Good morning world. Welcome to Wednesday 6th of April. Um, 
as already mentioned. Uh, two more lambs last night. Uh, it was quite late. I did ring Abby to say they were they were with us. I basically went in the barn as she was dropping the second lamb. So I gave her half an hour just to mother them up and then uh, put them in a pen. This morning I dipped their navels or sprayed the navels with um, iodine and when I go back in a bit I will number them because Abby numbers number one. Well, I say number, I think she actually initialed it. Apparently the U would not stay still when she tried to put a number on it. And that's her excuse for writing a signature on its back. I'll show you later. Right, we're on our way to Wickhor to see the tree guys. Uh, apparently the chipper could do with a little bit of a top up from hydraulic oil. The, that um, filter was still leaking. I do have a new filter, I'm going to take that with me. They may or may not decide to change the filter over while they're at it. Uh, we've got six guys in today. Um, my four and two subcontract climbers as well. Um, we've got a row of 10 or 12 biggish they landed to come down and a sycamore and small ash to come down. They all overhang my customer's neighbour's property. So we're doing a lot of the work from the neighbour's side. Everybody's working together to get the job done. So I'm just hoping the weather clears up a bit. It's not very nice in there. Actually, it's quite nasty in there. It's 11 o'clock. The reason I'm a bit late is I've been waiting in for the locksmith to come in and sort out the new keys for our new transit. Um, when we bought it, the ignition key was pretty much... Well, there was nothing left of it. It was so, so badly worn. Uh, had two new keys cut, they're okay, but I think there's an issue with the uh, chip in the one key. Uh, the truck won't read it. There's a discrepancy, something between 40 bits and 80 bits or something. Uh, whatever it is, the locksmiths, uh, fobs, would not take the code for the ignition and the central locking and that for the truck. So he's coming back tomorrow um, with... I think he said he was going to bring a genuine Ford um, key fob. That way we know it'll work. Cost twice as much, but at least it'll work. you and you got the blame again so I had a phone call from the guy saying the chipper's not working the rollers aren't um, feeding into the chipper um, low oil or something like that. obviously we had an issue with the filter a while ago so uh, halfway over here I got a text message from the guy saying oh don't worry we've fixed it it's working again now it's like well you haven't put any oil in it how did that work then anyway it turned out that somebody and they're all pointing the finger of blame at Ewan, turned down, excuse me, turned down the feed speed. So on our chipper, we can control how fast the rollers pull material in. So if you've got a lot of big stuff, you can slow them down. If you've got a lot of small stuff, you can speed them up. And apparently, Ewan turned the knob down too far. And if you turn it down too far, it just stops them. And yeah, so I've driven all the way over here they didn't need me. So yeah, I spoke to the two climbers, <coughs> spoke to the neighbours, 
I haven't spoken to the customer yet. I'll give her a call when I get back because I've got a question to ask her um, on behalf of her neighbours, which I'm sure will be fine, but I, I'll ask the question first. Everybody seems happy, so, especially the neighbours. In fact, they're overjoyed. Um, but yeah, the, the work's going all right. I've left now because the, the two climbers basically said, we don't need you, you can disappear. You're just stopping everybody working, which was true, I did. <laughs> so yeah, being thrown off my own site by my own staff. Again. Right, everything looks quiet down here. How about the tiddlers? They look all right, although his tummy does look fuller than that one's. We might have a look at that in a minute. I'll give you a bit more water because you've done something dirty in there, haven't you? Finned out crap in your water. Too much. Lambs have a habit of getting in buckets, especially big buckets. Get in there too. Okay, right. So, little bit of news. Patrick, the bull, who's been with our cows for the last couple of months. Um, he was here on loan, or on hire, however you want to look at it. Where is he? Oh, he's in there. I'm going to lay down. So, he is in the group that was clear of TB. I wanted to put him to some of the heifers in here that have not gone clear. But the problem with that is, I would feel guilty about putting someone else's bull so any of my heifers, when there's any question mark over the chances of perhaps him contracting TB from a future infected animal in here. So I just got off the phone to his current owner and I bought him. So uh, like I said to them, I didn't think it was fair for them to take on that risk. So we've agreed a number. Um, I gave them a choice actually. I said, you can have money. Uh, or you can have a steer. You can have one of my steers back if you want to replace him because they were actually considering eating him because he didn't have a use for him, so I've saved his life in a way. You can have one of my steers or something in between the two and apparently they also want some tree work done. So between cash, another animal and tree work, a deal has been done. So we've not actually fixed on how, how I'm going to remunerate them for their ball, but one way or another, um, he's staying here for at least for at least for another year. I hope so. So yes, ladies, you're going to be introduced to a boyfriend, except not you, not you, probably not these two. So a lot of these are old enough. They're sort of 14 months and older. They're old enough to go to the bull, but she's too small. She's too small. We don't drag our, our heifers on with lots of high protein food. Like they literally get hay and haylage or whatever else, and they grow at their own pace. So, but now we own the bull, it doesn't matter because she can go to him later on, as can the other little one over there. There's three or four in here that are too small for him. They can go later on. So that's the plan. And we'll have calving all year round then. So not being planned that way, that's not what we intended. We tend to have calving once a year in the autumn over and done with. But I think now with the way the farm is kind of growing with the sheds, the more space over here the farm, stuff like that, I think there is now opportunity for us to calve all year round. Sort of split it up a bit, so. If we've got our own bull, it's a lot easier. Hey? Yeah. I know. I know. You desperately need a boyfriend, don't you? That's, of course, your steer. Which you are. 
uh, this is a young steer, two year old, but you would think he was like half Angus. Not really, but you know, he's a big fella for a two year old, isn't he? Yeah, I know you don't want that. It's coarse, isn't it? She puts the fussy eaters. They'll go through all the fine, delicious, moist stuff, and any coarse, stalky stuff, they won't eat it. Well, unless they're really ugly. And they might. So I could give this to the cattle. Cattle are less fussy. But you know what? I'm bringing the new bale in. They might just as well have what they want. They're right in my way, you know. Right in my way. There you go. Go on. Up. Up. Go on. Up. Go on. Up. Come on. Get it. Up. <laughs> Up. Get it. Up. Go on. Yay.
Hey, it's not going to be a lot of fun with the treaty this afternoon. It's not working in conifers. That's like kind of prune a sponge, that is. Not the neatest numbers in the world, but I think it's better than Abby's number one. <laughs> we reckon she tried to um, initial that view. Uh, Abby. I don't know if you spell it or not. <laughs> 